the chances of meeting you here. Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Yeah, so I changed my hair again. But come on you guys, it's not, I feel, that huge a surprise because I just came back from the States and I feel like there is a nice tradition on this channel of me coming back from the States and just popping up again with new hair. You go to America as a black girl and you get your hair done, finally. I went home and I did stop by some of the beauty supply stores and I kind of noticed that the wig technology has made a huge jump and there are now wigs that look like this and cost $40. This wig cost $40. I couldn't resist. I had to pick it up. This wasn't the first wig that I had bought. Actually, the first wig that I had bought was this one. And I was so shook that I said, no, let me go see what's going on here. And then through doing research, I found that this was like a general thing. And now you can order $50 wigs online and they'll come out looking like beat this. I swear to God, I have another wig that definitely costs $400 that looks like this. How am I gonna have the same exact hair that I had for $400 at $40? I don't know, but I wasn't going to wait around to figure it out. If you guys are not new here, you'll know that last year, early 2020, I cut all of my hair off. And to many, that's a very big, serious life move. Um, I have to say that it was in one sense transformative, in another sense, not so much. I say it wasn't so much transformative because it was a lot easier to go bald and go natural than I thought. I thought it would take a lot more time to adjust. I thought it would take a lot of time to adjust to seeing myself like that and also just, you know, moving in the world as a bald woman. I don't know. It, there was a lot more to it in my head than there actually was in real life. So it was like from one day to the next, I was bald and that was it. There wasn't really a lot of getting used to it. It could be said that I decided to cut my hair off and then we went into quarantine so that probably you know made some of a difference i guess but the point is in no time the no hair bald batty tia had become b tia and there was no acceptance there was no needing to learn to accept myself or get used to there was nothing it was just from day to night this was the new me and it was me. But on the other hand, it was transformative because it was the first time in my life, well, or maybe the second time in my life that I had gone so long wearing my natural hair. And on top of that, being shaved, I mean, that means that it's in the most natural of states. You don't have hair to hide your face behind. What you see is what you actually are. And so it was the first time in my life that I was 100%, you know, like so close to the true me. If there, if there was a me, um, in terms of natural, that, that would be it. In that sense, it was transformative because it was the first time in my life that I had to 100% be me and be okay with that. And to go through that and to be okay with me like that is really nice. To say that I am 100% comfortable to go out as my true self, it feels nice to be able to say that. And I don't think I would have been able to say that with 100% certainty if I didn't cut all my hair off and live like that. That being said, it was a great year. I served some awesome bald looks, but I do feel like it is a part of our tradition. I feel like we're to a point where versatility and change is part of our hair culture. Black women know that we can wear our hair in any way. If I feel like getting braids tomorrow, I'm gonna go do that. If I feel like cutting my hair off tomorrow, I'm gonna do that. If I wanna have dreads, I'm gonna do that. And I can have any of these things in like two seconds if I just get the wig version of that style. So going a year with my hair being more or less the same style, every once in a while I would change up the color, but it was the same exact style. Um, I don't want to say it was stifling, but I'm kind of over it. I got bored with it. I want to change up my hair. So what I did was when I was in America, since they were so um, accessible and there was such a wide variety of great choices, I bought not one, not two, but seven new wigs and piano piano you guys are gonna see all of them <laughs> because I just love changing up my hair and you guys know that I've already been through a million and one hairstyles on this channel I've been through like 
so many colors, so many different looks, you know that it is part of me to change my hair. And so you know that it was weird that I had gone a whole year without doing anything. And this is just me coming back to um, me, the, the true me, which is the me that likes to change her hair quite often. All of this was to say, yes, I've changed my hair. No, it's not forever. I do think that in my daily life, I'm gonna continue with the shaped head just because it's easier. I mean, weather's warming up in Milan as well, and it's 23, 24 degrees in the house right now, and I'm already sweating. So it's not like I'm gonna go from today to tomorrow wearing wigs 100% of the time. But especially for my content, especially here on YouTube, I'd like to change it up every once in a while. I like seeing myself in different forms. And so you guys can expect to see my hair in a lot of different ways. Despite the fact that I'm going back towards the wig life, I do still encourage every black woman watching to, you know, do the big chop, do it. Just, just try it uh, because it's just so, it's hard to explain and you don't really know it until you know it, but transformative yet not. And necessary, necessary for sure. I feel like any girl that's done it would tell you that it, they're glad they did it and they're happy that they did it. Despite the fact that I'm going back towards wigs, I'm still gonna use this video to tell you guys to cut off all your hair. So yeah, the next few videos are going to be very focused on some of the stuff that I'm bringing back with me from the States, not just seven nice new wigs, but you know, I feel like a new attitude and approach as well. Yeah, I say that on this channel every day, don't I? But seriously, for real this time. So that being said, if you don't wanna miss the upcoming content and it's gonna be good, I suggest you guys like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah.